Ezra chapter 10. While Ezra was praying and making confession, weeping and prostrated before the house of God, a huge crowd of Israel's men, women, and children gathered around him, and the people were weeping bitterly. Shekaniah, the son of Yechiel, one of the descendants of Elam, spoke up and said to Ezra, We have acted treacherously toward our God by marrying foreign women from the peoples of the land, but in spite of this, there is still hope for Israel. We should make a covenant with our God to send away all these wives, along with their children, in obedience to the advice of Adonai and of those who tremble at the mitzvah of our God. Let us act in accordance with the Torah. Stand up and do your duty, for we are with you. Take courage and do it. Ezra stood up. He made the chief Kohanim, the Levi'im, and all Israel swear that they would act according to what had been said, and they took the oath. Ezra then left his place in front of the house of God and went to the room of Yochanan, the son of Elishaba. After going there, he neither ate food nor drank water, because he was mourning over the treachery of the exiles. A proclamation was issued throughout Yehuda and Yerushalayim that all the exiles were assembled in Yerushalayim, and that whoever didn't come within three days in answer to the summons from the officials and leaders would forfeit all he owned and himself be banished from the community of the exiles. All the men of Yehuda and Benjamin assembled in Yerushalayim within the three days, it was the twentieth day of the ninth month. All the people sat in the open place in front of the house of God, trembling because of this matter and because of the heavy rain. Ezra the Kohen stood up and addressed them. You have acted treacherously by marrying foreign women and have thus increased Israel's guilt. Now, therefore, make confession to Adonai, the God of your ancestors, and do what will please him by separating yourselves from the peoples of the land and from the foreign women. In response, the whole assembly cried aloud, Yes, our duty is to do as you have said, but there are many people, and it's the rainy season. We can't stay out here in the open. Also, it isn't the work of a day or two, for there are many of us who have committed the crime. Let our leaders represent the whole community. Let all those in our cities who have married foreign women appear at prearranged times, accompanied by the elders and judges of each city, until our God's fierce anger over this has been turned away from us. Only Yonatan, the son of Ashael, and Yekuziah, the son of Tikva, supported by Meshulam and Shabtai, the Levi, opposed this. The exiles did as agreed. Ezra the Kohen chose heads of fathers' clans by name, and they began their sessions to look into the matter on the first day of the tenth month. They finished dealing with all the men who had married foreign women by the first day of the first month. Among the Kohanim were found those who had married foreign women of the sons of Yeshua, the son of Yotzadak, and his brothers, Messiah, Eliezer, Yarib, and Gedaliah. They promised that they would send their wives away, and since they were guilty, they offered a ram from the flock for their guilt. Of the sons of Emar, Hanani, and Zabadiah, of the sons of Aharim, Messiah, Eliah, Shemiah, Yechiel, and Isaiah, of the sons of Peshkor, Elionath, I, Masaiah, Yishmetel, Netanel, Yobazad, and Elisah, of the Levi'im, Yozavad, Shimi, Kelia, also known as Kilta, Batakya, Yehuda, and Eliezer, of the singers, Elisha, Eli Yashiv, of the gatekeepers, Shalom, Telam, and Uri. Of Israel, of the descendants of Perosh, Ramia, Yeziah, Malkia, Miaim, Elaezer, Milkia, and Benaya. Of the descendants of Elam, Matanya, Zechariah, Yechiel, Abdi, Yermot, and Eliyah. Of the descendants of Zatu, Elioniya, Eliashiv, Matanya, Yermot, Sabad, and Aziza. Of the descendants of Babai, Yochanan, Hananai, Sabai and Altai, of the descendants of Banai, Meshulam, Maluk, Adiyah, Yeshuv, Shal, and Ramal, of the descendants of Pra, Moab, Adna, Kalal, Benya, Mesia, Matanya, Batzael, Benu, Ai, and Shalom, Benyamin, Maluk, and Shamaria, of the descendants of Shashum, Matnai, Matada, Zavad, Eliphala, Yermanyai, 
Minister and Shimi and the sons of Elishi, Matanyan, Madvai, Nasai, Banu, Banai, Banu, Shimi, Shalomaya, Natan, Adaya, Makanavadai, Shashai, Sarai, Azarael, Shalmaya, Shamaria, Shalom, Armaya, and Yosa, and of the descendants of Nova, Yael, Matiyaha, Zavad, Zabina, Yadai, Yoel, and Benaya. All these had taken foreign wives, and some of them had wives by whom they had had children. <laughs>